Hey, hello, and Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. You probably can't read it, but it does say that. It's December, finally, and actually it's snowing where I'm living, so that's kind of cool. Perfect timing hit right at the 1st December. Probably don't care since it doesn't affect you, but I just wanted to say it because, well, I can do whatever the fuck I want. It's my show! Now. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. But, I'm back with another video and I have this lovely French pack, so I thought, why not share their excitement over a freaking steel pack? It's quite literally a steel. Anyway, uh, let's just get through this and then let's get into some gameplay. Citroen and, oh my god, it's a Coleos. That's a weird thing to pronounce. And also, we have a lot of things to join in here. And I'm gonna go for the Bentley one because I am high class and this is high class racing. I'm, I'm ready for this. This is my sort of thing. I really like the upper parts and mostly I just, it's, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Kind of weird joke. In any case, like we have some good cars available here. So I'm feeling confident without knowing what the tracks are. So let's find out. Let's find out what Mousetrap has to show us here. So it's the Bentley one and it's ending tonight. So really couldn't have done this any later. That's a city street and so is that, but that's fast and one twisty. Mm, double city streets, double fast, one twisty. Double the streets, one fast, two twisty. Wow, okay, switcheroo, keeping it spicy. Okay, and the last one is one kind of fast, two three, two kind of twisty. Okay, so uh, that's a theme. We need something that's both fast and twisty for that middle section, but we can also have something that's always fast. So I'm thinking we need to go for the bulldog. And before you say it, yes, I free to free mine. And also, yes, I do regret it. I've tried messaging Hutch back when they changed the MRA to actually make it good. And they said they would want to change it, but also they didn't do it. So I don't know. I'm, I'm stuck with this. It is good for something, but also I, I wanted to have it at a 52 because it's a really good dragger. Like it drags for the best of them with the MRA and the top speed. It's not gonna grip anything anyway, so you might as well have it as a dragger, but I screwed up mine and it's a prize car. So it's not like I can just get another or something. But in any case, we need two city streets and I'm thinking, can we have the two Bentleys? Because that would be awesome. Maybe, actually, I know I have a low-end Bentley that might make me able to get something better in at the top. Let's just try with that, and of course the Legendary, and then of course this one, the Speedster. I do have this Bentley, which is maxed out, so that's kind of nice. Oh, we have way more RQ left, so I could probably, could I actually go for this one? No, I couldn't go for that one, but luckily I have Bentleys at all IQs. Now, it looks like this one would actually be the perfect one, you see, yeah, right at 350. But mine is uh, far from maxed, so I wouldn't use this one. But I'm um, thinking, yeah, I do have this one. And I, mean, I don't have anything better, do I? And it doesn't seem that way. This looks like a pretty pretty decent squad, without, of course, knowing what's waiting on the other side. I mean, against Ultra Rares, I'm game. So you there, because you're fast. You there, you there. You there, and you there, because it's got the buff, so that grip is insane. It's really, really useful on something like car park where I just get time. You see, I'm only a little bit at front at first, but it's just the grip difference that's just pulling me ahead. The C60 isn't going to do me much here, but the grip difference made all the difference. And then this one. I mean, this is almost kind of boring to see me winning by this much here. But that's obviously because, of course, he didn't check the track sets before. Always do that. So he just went in and then, yeah, saw so those the streets and realized, well, he fucked up, so he's probably changed that now. But that sort of tells me that this might be a new lobby because had it been an older lobby, he would have had time to do this track set again. It would have updated and it wouldn't be a non city streets version of his hand. Let's see if my prediction is correct. I'm gonna guess the top guy has six wins. Okay, let's find out, let's find out. Okay, so it's sort of new, the 28th, which isn't like, Totally new. Sometimes you trained up right in the top 10, but top and his six wins. I'm just gonna say it because you can't since this is not live. I'm a freaking genius. Okay, <laughs> like I guess, but still. Okay, <laughs> that doesn't really mean anything. This guy looks good, but let's see, like. Okay, let's try this dude. Let's try this dude. I'll start off by losing, but actually, I'm thinking not by too much. Oh my god, I did that thing again where I 
pops down there. So we can't even do that, you have to do that and then that. I'm gonna guess 83. I'm gonna lose by 83 over here. Then you win that, you win that, you win that. I mean, you could probably win this, but why take the chance in that one there? Okay, let's see, 83, come on. 54? Well, I don't mind losing if it's this way. <laughs> How are you doing in this event, actually? Let me know in the comments below. Sometimes you guys write me like, I'm in your lobby or I'm doing this great. And it's actually nice to know, like, how are you guys doing? Okay, so that's a win because he, of course, didn't max his. Actually, how does these two compare if his was maxed? Because that's a surprising amount of Benlis that's just like one to one equally the same. And I actually have two of those where they're literally equal on all of the tracks because it's like the same car in like a different edition and they don't change anything but like the exterior. And I don't get why Hodge added different color variants of the same car to the game. Seems sort of like, why would you do that when you could focus on getting different cars in? But well, to do what to do. In any case, I haven't really talked about it, but a two star, awesome. Awesome, awesome, and already up into the 14th position and will probably get a ceramic tonight. But I wanted to show you something here, the Bentleys I was talking about. Here, so you see, we have, let's just put this one up here. <laughs> this will sound blue train limited edition and just the will sound speed and these have wow actually a different in top speed okay i know why i know why i two three three mine we'll have to go look at all cars to see this so let's just do that instead so go down to ultra rare and here we have them so you see 90 top speed 4.8 to 60 81 grip rear wheel drive oh yeah well some cars just have that then let's take a look at some more specific things like how much does the weigh? 2,685. 2,685? How much torque does this one have? It has 811 of them. How much does this have? You might be asking. 111. Now, what about peak power? 530, and you go over here and take a look, and it's 5 freaking 30. These are the same car down to the weight, middle gram power. Everything is the same and the equal. But actually, I just realized, holy shit, there's four years in difference between these two cars. How weird. So it's not the same car and different color schemes. It just happen by coincidence to be exactly the same car. That's so weird. But in any case, just wanted to point that out. It's a bit of a, a fun thing to update. So I guess you could just have one. I mean, I have another one of these and I've actually also fused one of these. But I just wanted to have like one of each. I mean, they're different years. Maybe we'll have an event that's capped to 2015 or 19 or something. It might be useful. Might be useful. Oh my God. Yes, wish list first thing. This one just breaks Bentley events basically because normally Bentleys are good at top speed. Gotta give them that. 0 to 60, it ain't bad. But they have no grip, they have no MRA, and they weigh like literally two and a half, three tons. It's insane how much they weigh. Let's just take a look at like that one. How much do you weigh? Yeah, <laughs> two and a half. And what about the limousine over here? You weigh two and a half again. Yeah. So this one only weighing. Freaking 1200 kilograms, it's nothing. It has 98 grip at a one star. And it has 280 of 60. Though it does have worse top speed, but I don't know DT car stars have that, so that's nothing special. In any case, this one just kills Bentley events. And with an MRA of 100, you're not really gonna touch it on the drag now, are you? At least not with a Bentley. If you have this one and you're sitting out there feeling attacked, then just know it's because I'm jealous, really. I would so love to have this car, so. It's just my jealousy shining through. I gotta beat it. It's... I just gotta beat it. That would make me happy if I could just go in and beat it. So, I have to do it like this even though I should put... I should put this one over here. Because the Moray makes more of a difference over here since it's a rolling start and... I should put it over there. But I'm actually gonna sacrifice future hands just to beat that car. Okay, so you are really happy. That's really not good for the slalom, but... How about you? Okay, you're happy. Great. Great. But I need this one to have a chance of beating it, so let's just do that. Please, please. Come on, yes! <laughs> but not by much, less than a second. <laughs> uh, but you went down! With a price car. That's high IQ, so of course it's better, but still, you went down. Okay, and that's the one as well. I actually have this one, and not even max this much because that's max grip. I would actually assume this one would win. Because, well, it's only two less grip, but eh, it's a better shift to 60. How's the weight? I actually even weigh more, but I win, so I guess the grip matters more. 
And then this one is a win. Come on, yeah. But not that much again, to be fair. With that top speed, you're not really gonna start falling off. But in this situation, I have better way and I have a close enough top speed, so yeah. And then this one just a win. It's just a win, and I'm doing a clean freestyle. It's rare you do those. Normally, you either want to do that or you like demolish them. But clean freestyle, nice to see. You love to see. I do love to see. I do love to see. Okay, so that one's upgrade. That's gonna be a problem for me. So is that. It's gonna be a problem for me. You probably had this one as an epic because I doubt you would put so much into a. Man, you gotta admit it. Below par legendary. I mean, it's only a Q80. And even with a two star, it's still not amazing, even though that grip is great. Uh, do, do, do this one, yeah, oh my god, I wish I had it at a 52. Then I could have beaten this dude. Could I? Is it medium? No, that's low, so I could definitely beat this dude because, like, beat, beat, equal, equal, equal. I could still beat this dude. Let's go for this dude. Okay, so should I actually, wouldn't it be better for me to just win that? just do that one and then win that one even though again i'm putting on the on the non rolling start i'm handicapping myself future situation so much but that one there that one there maybe actually i should take in my other bentley because uh it's a seriously small or something where it doesn't make a difference or doesn't make a difference at all there was one time where they made a difference but i'm quite sure they've patched that to a point now where they do equal all of it every time I don't know, but we just lost 111 there, and that's mostly because of 060, because the MRI is great on the Bulldog, so yeah. Let's hope we can make it up, actually, because I might have just shot myself in the foot here. Believe me, I could have beaten this dude, but we should get a lot on this next one, because that's City Streets, and he's slow. And my car isn't bad, like, just in general. Okay, so, 111, no, only 99, but still, I feel like we should have this one. Yeah, we should definitely have this one. And then we beat one, we beat him by more! Okay, so, so that was actually a better way to do it. Cool, 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 cool. And we are now in the top 10, but I've also noticed we've taken a loss. So that frightens me quite a lot. Let's see if we can reach some of the guys up here. Like, how does their hand look? Can we ball with the big guys? That's what I want to know. So, um, yeah, I would say we could. We could be that one, 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 and maybe that one. We might actually be able to freestyle this dude. But also, I might have miscalculated because all of these are like, yeah, I guess I could be that one. They're like close. Because I'm a little bit over here. Can I be that one? I could definitely be that one. And I have been that one. I know that's a win, and I'm quite sure that's a win. But again, it's hard to really know. Okay, so that one's a win, even though this one actually does have really good money. <sighs> this one's a win. Yes, not that much, but a win is a win. And this one should be a win, right? Because we have just one more grip. Yeah, clearly win, clearly win. Okay, so we're looking good so far. And this one should be a win, right? Come on. Yeah, okay, but not that much, just a second. Okay, and then, yeah, that one is a loss. How, actually? Because we just learned earlier, back with the Epic Bentley, that our two more grip made up for three worst tier 60. Here we have two worst tier 60, but four more grip, and we still lose. How does that make sense? Like, is script important? Is script not important? Is the 060 more important? What do I even do? What does the word mean? I'm not gonna get through the day! <sighs> this is a pretty good way to get through the day, actually. Getting into the top 10 right away, and then uh, maybe getting an awesome ramming. I got two last night, and I actually got another ultra rare. Wasn't too exciting of an ultra rare, but you know, an ultra rare is an ultra rare. Actually, <laughs> I just noticed last night, I have 90 ultra rares ready to fuse so uh, let's go fuse an epic why not why not and actually i'm using an epic at the moment oh i kind of wanted to fuse that aston that i'm using at the moment where is it it's right there but if i do that then i don't have time to use it before the event ends tonight so that's dumb we could do the viper actually i know that's useful for an upcoming event we could finish this one off or at least get closer to it uh, oh i could finally put it in to my banana and give it a good grip. Or well, this one, I could give this one like a better shape to 60. I could max out this one's grip. I could put the grip in there and then get a 100 grip. So that's what I actually go to 100 grip, that's insane. This car is so good, even though the MRA isn't the best part of it. It's better than it used to be, but it's still not amazing. 
Ooh, I could finally give my Lotus a hundred grip. I gave this one, these two upgrades back when we were fighting for the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport. I did it like the same day because I think it was actually on the day of the event ending. So I like rushed them and then I just haven't touched it since, even though I've used it a lot. When was that? When did I win this one? It's over 650 days ago and I just haven't really done much about it. Mm, what else could I do? I have a lot of good options for epics. Like I have a lot of epics that you could argue is a worthy course. Oh, I could finally get this one maxed out. This one's actually just one away from being maxed out. I'll put it over here and then I'll have two of these maxed out. But it also has to be a car I'm using a lot. So what events do we have coming up? We have this one and for this one I actually could use the Viper, I'm quite sure. So yeah, I could use the Viper. It would be nice giving it like 94 grip. But also I'm not doing too good in American normally. So it wouldn't really change much. I would still probably lose American events. I feel like it should be something where I could use it. So it should be like, mm, I do a lot of Italian or German mainly, but that also means I have sort of upgraded those. What about my Diablo? That's two away from being maxed. I would like to max out a car, but don't know that I have that option. My BMW. Ooh, or maybe I could finally max out the servo. Then it begs the question, should it be a two for free or a three to free? Because well, Normally with the Epic you would go for a 2 free, free and that would be the better one for the drives, but it also has forward drive, which makes it really good for the rain, and there you want a free to free. And it's not always to put it in the rain, but it's like mainly really good in the rain. Hmm. I might just not do this just because I don't know what to do. And also, I'm not using it that much. I've actually used it quite a lot, but not recently. Which might mean that I'm gonna use it in the future because they're trying to switch up the events. I don't know! This is hard, this is really hard. Ooh, my Cyclone, there's so many good options in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I could probably give this one a bit. That might actually be worthy because, no, I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna upgrade two epics. One of them is gonna be this one because, yeah, right here is JPT. So that might be useful soon, or at least there's a higher chance of it. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put it here to both when something that's fast or something that's more grippy. Um, even though it's already a really good car. And then the other upgrade is gonna go to, I kinda wanna do the Cyclone, but I'm just never using it. I'm just never using it. What car am I actually using? That's gonna be the one. That's gonna be the one. Oh, this Jaguar, I'm actually using this one, surprising amount. Could give it just enough grip to actually beat Ultra Rares. Ooh, or the diesel, I could upgrade the diesel. This is a really hard decision. Really, really, it's a really hard decision to know what I should upgrade. I really want to put it into the speedster, but it doesn't make sense because I then can't use it for the night. Because that would take eight hours, right? No, I could put it there. I could put it there. How many hours do we have left? Five. That would take four. And then I'll have one and a half hours left. Is that worth? It would make it better for me for the last bit. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna do it. Whew. Okay, so we gotta put it here because if we make one of the other ones, then it's gonna be eight hours and I'm just not gonna have time for that. Okay, so what car? Ooh, somebody's gonna die inside <laughs> if I fuse a free body out because I know a lot of people complain about not being able to get that one. And I get that, it's a really amazing car, but you know how you get cars that other people are jealous of? For instance, I haven't gotten that freaking Ford. It's called Rally Spec. It's so sick. I haven't gotten one in playing for over 1,200 days. That's sort of the lotus with me because I get it quite a lot and I don't need it. So that's just Hutch being a dick. I would rather have a little bit of everything than just a lot of one. But these are all duplicates. So actually, might just use this one instead of. No, I kind of want to make people scream inside. Yeah, I kind of want to do that. Also, I've just noticed this car I got recently isn't locked, so let's go do that. <laughs> let's go do that, and then we gotta end up the video, because it's getting long at this point, but also, if you've stayed this long, then I hope you enjoy the video. I definitely do. I enjoy sitting here rambling. That's kind of why I do it. Okay, so where is, where is, where is it? It is right, right there. Why haven't I locked this one? I only have one of them, right? Why didn't I lock it? I spent a whole video talking about it, and I haven't locked it. In any case, 
I hope you wanna like yourself to the channel by subscribing, it would really be awesome. I post topless videos every two days, and if you've stuck around this long, I can't be half bad. So it would really mean a lot to me if you want to subscribe, and if you really wanna support the channel, then go check out my Patreon. There's a link in the description. You'll get exclusive stuff. For instance, I'm live at the moment. Because as a patron, you get to see the videos recorded live, plus a surprise for a Discord server and a host of other perks. In any case, I just really enjoy the support and I will see you next time. Bye.